day one of Style Cutters in the books, and I'm still alive. You gotta be so good that they can't ignore you, especially the ones that ain't done shit for you. Yeah, you know exactly what I mean. They stab you in the back and then they ask why you're bleeding. I don't trust words, I trust actions. I don't care what you heard, I'm not slacking. Day one of Style Con is over. I'm just getting dressed, getting ready to go to day two of Style Con, and then I'm gonna be leaving. Uh, head back to Pittsburgh, but I gotta say, I'm having a very, very good time. These dudes are pretty fucking funny. Uh, and they're just genuine people. Uh, much more genuine than I thought at first. I mean, and I've often said that if I'm wrong, I would admit I'm wrong. Uh, they're pretty genuine people. I gotta say that they, uh, when you see the list of people that want to get sponsored by them, that want to end up in their videos, uh, it's pretty uh, amazing how many companies approach them. That said, you know, we did have discussion Well, many people were asking me at there, you know, now that you've met them, would you still make videos on them? And they, I, if they make a poor nutritional video, I'd still fuck it up. You know, that's, that's just me. Uh, I have no qualms about that, too. What I did, the things I did find really, really cool, everybody was super hospitable, super nice. Um, it's a really interesting event. It was event, the event's based more around uh, kind of contact building and... Uh, education of brand marketing and stuff like that. There's very little to his style, although everybody's dressed to the T except for me, uh, which is what I thought would happen anyway. Um, everybody was, like I said, super cool. Uh, uh, I walked in the front door, and the first person I saw was Antonio. I'm like, oh, here we fucking go. I mean, I've, I've accused this guy of being a serial killer like 20 times. Uh, shook my hand. He was like, how was the handshake? So he's got a great sense of humor. He took me on a tour, walked me around. Uh, honestly, these people are way more hospitable uh, to me than I thought anybody would be, than probably 99% of other people would be. So, well, if it comes to being gentlemen and having class, obviously they're able to turn the other cheek with an asshole like me, and really, really, really just uh, they made, made me feel very, very comfortable. Um, introduced me to many, many people, introduced me to a lot of other vets, that sort of thing. Uh, I gotta say, you know, we did have, the, have, a, have a little discussion about, like, how I always say that they're playing to people's insecurities. I see their point. Uh, I, you know, I think they see they see mine. Uh, you know, realistically, I think sometimes it's in the way of how things were. And also, again, I fuck with people on camera. That's my fucking thing. Um, so I uh, did have a conversation. Uh, uh, Alpha M is just a very fucking cool dude. Uh, very honestly, uh, had a couple conversations with him. I posted on my Instagram. I yeah, I'll probably use that as the thumbnail for this too. Uh, Got him his domestic beer. Um, it was the one drink he drank that night. Uh, he fucking cool dude. Uh, we shot something for his website. It's pretty interesting. They, 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 I was amazed at how many people they were telling the story of why I was there too. Kind of cool, unnecessary and kind of cool. Um, I, you know, uh, it's an odd experience because realistically, everybody was super nice to me when I have not been nice to them. Um, you know, do I regret making videos about them? Not at all. I, I got asked that a, a couple of times, times too. I, I don't make, regret them at all. Um, I've had I had conversations with all three about the videos. They all thought they were funny. Uh, yeah, even I've even had a, uh, had a really good conversation with Jose. Uh, and but, you know, are we friends? I don't know. I don't think any of them are going to consider me friends. I mean, I've called, I've accused one of them of being a serial killer. Uh, one of them of you know. The, of not knowing what he's doing nutritionally and other shit. So I, I, you know, and the other one, I've just been harsh on. Yeah, you know, I acted like I was influencing him when he's some mogul. Uh, so uh, you know, the, but the reality is, they're very, very, very nice people. Great contact. It's an interesting event. Um, I can't really. Uh, I think that's the biggest surprise. I can't really say enough about how impressed I am with how they run this event, where it is really based around uh, building people up. There's people there that have large businesses that are mingling with. Guys, I, mean, I think there was like a 15-year-old kid there who has, who was like an aspiring businessman. Uh, the, the age range was crazy. It's like I think the youngest was the 15-year-old kid that uh, was talking to me last night, uh, and the oldest was like a Vietnam vet, which is just really neat. Um, I got the, the, a couple surreal experiences for me. There was a few people there that like really wanted to meet me. That's new to me, and I don't know if I'd ever ever get used to something like that. Uh, but you know, there was a couple guys there. That, Walked over, shook my hand. They, a lot of people knew knew who I was. Apparently, before I got there, uh, Alpha M had spoken about uh, inviting me on stage. Uh, not inviting me on stage but when he was when he was giving a speech. So again, really, really cool. I wanted to wrap this up. Don't want to keep it short. Uh, this is a pretty fucking interesting event. 
Um, we'll see what day two holds, but so far I just want to let everybody know I'm alive. Uh, they have not shoved me into a duffel bag. Um, uh, I, nobody has poisoned my drink. That I know of. It could be slow acting. Uh, and uh, it's been a great event. So here comes day two of StyleCon. This is Alan Roberts, Every Damn Day Fitness. Like and subscribe. Hit me up on Instagram at Every Damn Day Fitness. Hit me up on Twitter at Every Damn Day Fit. I'm also on Facebook at Every Damn Day Fitness. Day two of StyleCon, here I come. Goddamn.